Yo guys, what is going on? Today, I'm gonna be putting another fish back in my pond. The clown knife fish is doing really good. I'll show you guys him in a second. I'm kind of filming this by myself. I have no one filming me right now. I'm starting this video out a little bit later than I usually would start a video out. And that's because I've been looking for my SD card for about an hour and a half. I just decided to look under stuff that I wrapped presents with and it was sitting right underneath the presents that I just wrapped a few days before. I believe the time is about 5.40, it's just about to get dark. I don't know the exact time because my phone actually broke. So everything's just a cluster right now. And I'll show you guys the clown knife fish right now. He is somewhere back over here. Oh, he's right there. He's just chilling right underneath the fountain. He's kind of weird. He hangs out underneath the rocks. I'll move this rock to show you guys. Oh, there he is, right there. I really like him. He's been eating some minnows and he has been hanging out underneath these rocks underneath here. I think it's because I have not put that much structure inside of the pond yet. You can see him kind of acting weird. He's trying to find some structure, but he can't because that structure is way too small for him. He's almost sideways going underneath it, swimming backwards. Of course, like I said in my last video, that knife fish love to swim backwards. No, don't go by the heater. There is still a lot of minnows in here. As you guys can see, they're chasing each other in the background. But you guys still never named the bird. You guys named the clown knife fish, but you never named him. So yeah, that is the knife fish back in the pond. <clears throat> He's doing very well. And you guys picked a lot of names for the clown knife fish, but the two that stuck in my mind were Ghost and Casper. So I don't know which one I want to choose out of that. There was a lot of Caspers with a lot of likes on them. So I might have to do that one. I don't know. I'll announce it at the end of the video after I get my other fish out of the tank inside. These are both very exotic fish. It is very hard to catch these fish in Florida unless you know a spot that has a few in there or it's a smaller lake with some in it. I've seen people catch them like Monster Mike and this kid Sebastian and a few other people did but I'm not sure their names off the top of my mind. Those two just stuck in my mind because I remember pictures of them holding them. It's a very sick species of catfish, let's just say it is that. I know the lighting is very bad so I'm going to go inside right now. I'll probably turn up the brightness on the video but let's just go inside real quick. Before I go in my living room, my pakus are growing so much. I just thought I'd have to share this with you guys. Look how much they're growing. The albino one has grown about two inches since the last time you guys have seen them. If I even showed you guys, I don't even remember if I showed you guys. The big ones have also bulked up and they're about three and a half inches now. They're that big. Looks a lot bigger, but if I put my hand up there, they're about three and a half inches and the albino one is almost three inches. They're just a lot more bulky than he is. Flip this up, turn the white light on so you guys can see better into the tank. And there he is right there. Red tail, shovel nose hybrid mix. He is about 13 to 14 inches long. He is a beautiful fish. Although he does not move much inside this tank. So I believe that when he is inside the pond, he's gonna be moving a lot more around. He's gonna be a super sick fish in there. I can guarantee you this fish will eat at my hands because everyone that I know that had a hybrid or has had a red tail catfish, they have both eaten out of their hands. So let's get started with taking this thing out of the tank right now. All right guys, so like what happened in my last video, I have to get another cup and get the water out of the tank. Jeez, I'm taking a lot of water out of this tank, but I'm gonna be refilling this tank. What's up, whiskey? But I'm gonna be refilling this tank right here with some smaller exotic fish, maybe some cichlids or whatever else I can get my hands on or whatever else my dad can get his hands on. So we're gonna be putting some six smaller fish in here. It's a big tank, but I feel like we should be putting some smaller fish in here just to have them in there that eat flakes or pellets or whatever else. I'm gonna get the water out of here right now. Tiger shovel nose mix, red tail, whatever it's called. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna fit in this bucket because this bucket is a little bit small. It should do, I'm just bringing it out to the pond to 
10 seconds out of my house, but I gotta acclimate the fish just so I don't carelessly put it inside of the pond. Who knows, if you didn't acclimate it, it might die, but I'm for sure going to acclimate this fish. Do not worry, it is gonna live inside that pond. It's gonna be a healthy big fish in a few months. It's actually, catfish are one of my favorite fish, honestly. All right, I just got all of the water inside of here. We should be good now to put this inside of there. It's gonna be a very hard time to have them in here. It might make a lot of splashes just because the bucket is so small, but once again, let's get him in there, bring him out to the pond, put him in. Here, buddy. Don't worry, you're gonna be in a nice big home. I think he was sleeping or something. He was not awake. Oh! He is pissed off. He is not happy. Not happy at all. A lot of people know this, but a lot of people don't. They are so strong. They are incredibly strong. Let's get this thing out to the pond. I can fill the bucket up with the pond water with this cup. It's gonna be so sick. I'm gonna show you guys this thing in a second. It is so raw. I can't believe this thing was actually in my tank this long. I wanted to put it in my pond, but I just couldn't because I wanted to get a video for you guys. I was trying to get the pond all set up. You guys need to see this fish from above. This thing is so sick. Look at his fin. He is a perfect fish. He is literally probably the most perfect catfish I have ever seen in my life. I think this might be the sickest hybrid I've ever seen in my life. Oh, he is pissed off. He is very mad. So let's get him out there, acclimate him for about 15 minutes, and he should be good. Oh. You've got to get cup by cup. This water is a lot warmer than this water that is inside of the tank. You got to do cup by cup. I'm going to do two cups at a time, like I did two water bottles at a time in my last video. But, oh, it's kind of hard to do everything by myself. There we go. I'm going to let him sit in there for five minutes, and then I'm going to put two more cups in there, let him sit for another five minutes. And I put two more cups in there, let them sit for the last five minutes, and then I'm gonna slowly release them inside of the pond. It is gonna be very, very sick having this thing inside of the pond. I can't wait, because I've never had a catfish in one of my ponds. Well, I had one in my big pond, but that died because of ick disease. Look at the little clown knife fish right there. I don't know if you guys can see him, but. Swim backwards the coolest fish that is in my pond at the moment. And I forgot to say, guys, I took the gar out of my pond, not only just because I wanted to, but I had an actual reason to, that he might mess with the small albino clown knife fish, and I'd rather have the albino clown knife fish than the gar. I believe you guys would too, so that is the actual reason why I took him out. All right, so it has been five minutes. Let's get some more water inside of here. I got some more light out here besides just that thing. I got a light over there. And once again, drop a comment down below on what you guys want to name this fish. I don't really care. It is gonna be a sick name, I already know that because you guys named the albino clown knife fish, Casper. That is his official name is Casper. He's down there somewhere. You're probably not gonna be seeing him a lot in my videos, but you're gonna be seeing this thing a lot in my videos. He's gonna be eating out of my hand and gonna be eating a lot in this pond. I'm for sure going to be finishing this in a few days. I know I've said that before, and I know I said that before too, but 100% I'm gonna be finishing this in a few days. I'm gonna be posting videos of that, and then I'm gonna be posting structure videos of 
not just the little winky dinky driftwood that I put in just so the clown knife has somewhere to stay. Not just that, but I'm gonna be putting a bigger piece of structure, something you guys have never seen in someone's pond. It's not just gonna be driftwood, it's gonna be something insane. I'm gonna have driftwood in there though, so just stay tuned for that video. All right, so it has been another five minutes. I'm gonna be putting some more water in here, and then I'm gonna be letting him chill for a few minutes, and then finally putting him in the pond. It is finally the moment you guys have all been waiting for in this video, putting this red tail shovel nose inside of my pond. Here we go, it is gonna be super sick inside of here. I cannot wait to be hand feeding this thing. Honestly, can't get enough of this fish. It is a beautiful fish. And thank you guys for the support on my last video. It really does a lot, it grows my channel a lot. And with that being said, let's put this sucker inside of the pond. Look at this beautiful creature. It is gonna flip out, I already know so. Look at watch, right here. Ah! Their fins are so sharp too. Ah! He just got me soaked. There's, ow! He definitely cut my finger, 100% he cut my finger. Somewhere, please. Oh, that's so bad. Here he is, here's this little sucker right here. All right, well, since you are not, you're not very cooperative, I'm just gonna put you in here real quick. What a beautiful fish. That thing is so beautiful. I honestly cannot talk about it enough. That little sucker did cut my hand too. There he is right there. I cannot wait till I put the structure inside of the pond and he's gonna be sitting right by it. He's probably gonna be sitting inside of there, honestly. And there is a clown knife down there, as you can tell. So this is where I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna talk on the camera for a second, showing my face. Thank you guys once again for watching this YouTube video. And drop a comment down below on what you guys wanna name it. Name it a very exotic name, something very, whoa, there's a, there's a moth flying in my room. But like I was saying before, name it a really sick exotic name, something that would fit the fish perfectly. Maybe like tiger or something, I don't know. I'm gonna end the video on that note, and thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. My other video is gonna be popping up right here in a second, and my other video is gonna be popping up right here in a second. And of course, my subscribe button is gonna be right above here, so click that if you guys haven't already. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Adios.